Camille Beck with Connection Christian Church. I am one of the women who will be leading you through our study in the Book of Ruth. Um, <clears throat> Brittany and Amy got you started with the week. Um, they've talked a little bit um, about when Naomi's husband died and then her two sons died, um, leaving her empty and in a foreign country and to care for her two daughters-in-law. Um, we're gonna pick up today in chapter one, verse 10. Um, we'll read 10 through 13. Um, where she's having a conversation with those daughters-in-law, um, urging them to return to their home. Um, so let's begin. Ruth chapter 1, verse 10 through 13. And they said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why would you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb, that they may become your husbands? Turn back, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, even if I should have a husband this night and should bear sons, would you therefore wait till they were grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is exceedingly bitter for me, for your sake, that the hand of the Lord has gone against me. Um, some observations I've made. Um, just some things that stood out. She says more than once, turn back, my daughters. Naomi's urging them to turn back or to return home, depending on which version you read. Um, to stay with Naomi would mean um, that they were giving up security and that a husband and a home. Um, another observation um, that really stood out to me, the end of verse 13, where Naomi says it's bitter for her to say that. Um, and that the hand of the Lord has gone against her. Um, next, we want to look at how we can apply these verses. Um, what is God saying to you today? Um, for me, like I said, it first really stood out that it was repeated where it says, turn back, my daughters. Um, so what area, turn back to God in the areas that I've gone away. You know, take some time to review with myself. Um, what are the areas that I need to return to God, I need to turn back to? Um, as I continued to study, the other thing that stood out is at the end there, um, where Naomi was talking about being bitter and um, thinks that the hand of the Lord has gone against her. Um, but we know that God wasn't done working in Naomi's life. As we continue, we'll see what God continues to do with her life. She felt that the hand of the Lord had gone against her but he wasn't done yet. And God's not done in your life or my life either. Even if we're in a hard, messy place, God's not done. He has something to continue on. Um, so another question to consider, how can you apply what you just read to your own personal life? Um, for me, that's taking some time to examine um, and what it means to follow Jesus, giving up those security and those comforts um, of the world um, that the world offers us. Um, and another question to consider, what changes do you need to make? Or is there a next action you need to take? Um, for me, I put down that I need to acknowledge him and repent the ways that um, have kept me turned from God so that I can repent and return to him and make it right. Thank you for spending this time in devotion with me. Um, before we end, I would like to close us in prayer. Um, dear God, thank you for your word that you have shared with us so that we can learn about who you are and your right character. Thank you for your constant reminder that you desire for each of us to turn, to, turn back and to turn to your ways. Please reveal to us the areas that we have turned from you so that we can repent and return. Hope you'll tune in, tune in again tomorrow um, to, as we continue the um, Book of Ruth. Thank you. Mm -hmm.